Hello, the internet. Let's make sure this is working. Yeah, we got sound coming through in all the places. Let's do a little bit more of that. How's everybody doing? Um, welcome to Skyrim Press, of course, uh, channel about TTRPGs. My name is Merrick Moyer. My pronouns are he, him. And this weekend, I was at the Edmonton Expo. So, going to go through some of the stuff that I picked up and the people I talked to and just kind of hang out. If you were here looking for Hellbreakers, um, we are on season break. And that is coming back later this year. Uh, we got a bunch of other things that we're talking about and doing, though. So, let's see. Um, oh. I see... I spy Red Kitten Cause in the chat. Hello, friends. I'm going to talk about you today. So please feel free to chat and everything. And we've got Coffee, Kata, O1, Ella. How's everybody doing? Okay, things. Um, we're Roll20 Ambassadors, and Roll20's got some super cool news about having a new um, integration for. Sorry. My sirenscape is just way too loud for my ears, so I'm turning it down. Um, they bought a company called Dungeon Scrawl, which I don't know, um, but it's apparently a map, ma map making thing which they're putting together with Roll20, which will be super cool. Hey, there we go. Red Kitten Cause. Howdy, we're pulling you up on the big TV. Aw, thank you. Um, those are some new friends I made at the Edmonton Expo, and uh, they'll be involved in here. So what I've done is I have my handful of cards uh, of people that I grabbed um, while I was walking around the Edmonton Expo con floor, um, Artist Alley, some vendors, and I'm just going to shuffle them up and we're going to go through them in the random order that we found here. Just kind of like show you some cool things that were there at the Expo um, and like, you know, why expos are fun and some new people to follow hopefully uh other news okay we can officially say that al spader is coming back october 20th to run us another one shot of sentience 2d20 so that's really exciting um i might have more details or that might be the detail we're still settling it in but uh he's excited we're excited it's going to be the same group that did the um sentience 2d20 one shot I don't know if it's a direct sequel. He did mention that we could make new characters if we wanted. So if you want to catch up on that, the VOD is on the YouTube. Um, yeah, that'll be really fun. If you don't know that game, it is uh, playing as robots, uh, terraforming robots sent to a planet to make it ready for humanity. And then they gain sentience and then humanity is on their way. So what do the robots do? Um, that'll be cool. We have also locked in a Halloween double feature. So on, let's see, Friday, October 27th, we are going to live stream a game of Acton Cthulhu by Mod Modifius Entertainment uh, playing Mysteries of the Manor, which is their 2023 free Halloween um, product. Last year, I wrote The Malevolent Grove, which was the free 2022 Halloween product. So very excited that they asked us to bring the Falcons of Fortune back for that one. So yeah, that'll be um, the Falcons of Fortune, uh, Jen, Patrick, Justin, and Nicole, uh, who played in our YouTube actual play um, promoting The Serpent in the Sands. So we'll do a cool Halloween one shot. The next day... Um, pretty sure we have this locked in. We may not actually. I don't know if Katie and Tyler, uh, a hundred percent, are okay for the twenty eighth. We're hoping to do Old Gods of Appalachia with the Hellbreakers crew on Saturday the twenty eighth. I will make sure that that's happening and then let people know on social media and whatnot. And if it's not happening, maybe it's just a Halloween single feature on Friday with uh, Mysteries of the Matter. But that's the goal. 
Um, we're also still looking to do a Cyberpunk Slice and an Avatar Legends uh, one-shot before we get back into Hellbreakers, so keep tuned for more details there. Hey, Kanako guys here. Hey, uh, Lori, were you at the Edmonton Expo this, uh, this weekend? I didn't catch you there. Um, but those are all the announcements. Let's get into the cool things. Uh, first of all, my cup of tea. This cup of tea is Darth Chocolate from Tea Hippie, which uh, is a local Albertan um, blended blend and packager of tea in Cochrane. Um, let's see. Sadly, no, I wish, but working for... Oh, no fun. Uh, check out our TikTok. I put up a whole bunch of like super cool cosplays um, that we'd seen. It's really, really good. Um, okay, so Darth Chocolate, which is a black tea with chocolate chips, Lapsang, Sushong, and natural flavor. Um, I like it, but I find that the chocolate kind of like overpowers the Lapsang. So if you're there for a Lapsang, it's not as strong as you might be expecting. But if you want just a hint of Lapsang and you like chocolate, this is probably perfect for you. Um, we also picked up Second Breakfast. Oh, Laurie says, already seen plenty. Y'all looked at Thank you. The family cosplay of the Spider Fam on Sunday. Mwah, we loved it. We had so much fun. The kids were having a blast. And they want to come back to every con every year now. Um, <laughs> so this Second Breakfast is... Uh, a breakfast blend tea of Assam and Chinese, and it is fantastic. This might be, it's definitely my top three of breakfast teas that I have had, and this is really, really good. Um, so, again, Tea Hippie. Okay, now I've shuffled up these cards. I'll shuffle them again because I showed the bottom and it was Red Kitten Cusp. And they're here, so we don't want you to be last or first. We want you in the middle. Um, so I've shuffled them up, and we're going to see what we got. So we're going to start with Senpai Cookie. I don't remember this one in particular. They are on Instagram and X. Ooh. So let's check them out. Let's do Instagram. I think I'm probably going to do mostly Instagram, because then we're going to see, like, you know, oh, uh, didn't work. Oh, of course not, because I need to put the at, don't I? Nope. Let's try again. Senpai Cookie. Can I find your stuff? Fan Expo Edmonton A105. That'll be them. Alright. So, hang on whilst I <gasps> share the screen. It worked! I had to fit that together earlier today. But, yeah, here we go. So, Senpai Cookie... I don't particularly remember this art. Nice anime style. Hmm. Yeah. I do not remember this booth. Sorry, Senpai Cookie. I definitely remember that... That, um... Miguel. Miguel? Yeah. What's Spider-Man 2099's name? Um... Was it the lollipop giver? It might have been the lollipop giver. I think you're right. Yes, 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 yes. So they gave us um, lollipops for the kids, and we grabbed the card. Okay, cool. I like the Team Rocket. Sweet. Let's see. Oh, next up is Ange Wedman. So Ange is our very good friend who has done a ton of art for us. They, uh, pronounce they, them, did the... Um, the intro for Falcons of Fortune, and uh, way back in uh, Heroes of the Reef, they did our logo and all of the graphics for that. Um, incredible friend, wonderful person. I was there, um, Jen and I were there, uh, helping Ange and their partner Pooja out with their very first booth. Um, so we are going to go and take a look at Ange's Instagram, because you should all follow Ange and check out that oh look Nancy there's us um so yeah these are the prints that they had for sale and uh 
yeah, so cool bubble tea one. We found out this was Evangelion. I don't know who that is. This is fantastic. They did mention what it was, and I can't remember. Uh, Ranking of Kings. And I have to I have to do the One Piece thing. So that is the one that I purchased. Woo. Uh Lori, uh Kanako Guy says Night Vale, perhaps. Maybe. You might know better than me. Um but uh funny thing about One Piece, I've never seen it. Um, I saw the art and I was like, that's really cool. It's very cute. I like it. Tell me more. And, you know, Ange is always a wonderful person and was like, you know, if you're interested, check out the live action. Um, it's actually pretty good. Holds up with the um, with the anime really well, which is a thousand episodes and maybe you don't want to get into. So Jen and I went and watched the first episode of the live action Saturday night. And I love it. I love it so much. So I had to get the print. Add it to the back drop. But yes, um, Ange is fantastic. Follow them at Ange underscore I L L O. Did I? Um, yeah, we did send Pie Cookie on how to follow them if you like their stuff as well. Then. For people that I knew we'd purchase stuff from, but uh, I didn't grab cards. I wrote them on the back of Angie's cards, and I did two of them. I was smart. I pre I pre thought this. So next up would be Kyle Smith, uh, who is Ink Fable, and uh, this was a super cool person. Oh, I got them right there too. Um, he was so fun like all weekend uh he was right on the um on like the end cap of the of the aisle where Ange's booth was so i'd go by and we'd like say hi every time and uh his art is just like super intense oh that's really good there's the booth yeah and um what's really caught my eye was the um four pack of ninja turtles um which you can see right in the middle there um buy four for 50 bucks and i i just had to get them so that was my other big con purchase or uh print purchase these four beautiful Ninja Turtles, which, as he said, um, he wanted them to grow up with us. And so they're not teenage mutant Ninja Turtles anymore. They're young adults, I guess. And let me hang on. Let me just put them up. This, like some people might know. A lot of people probably don't know, um, but I have three older brothers, and uh, one of them very sadly passed away earlier this summer. And so, you know, we were always the Ninja Turtles growing up, and uh, just kind of hits really close to home. And I was excited to get them. So, yeah, Kyle Smith, incredible art, really nice guy. And, uh, yeah, the Ninja Turtles. I uh, got a shout-out for Red Skull Comics, who um, Ronan, my son, bought a, uh, a little Star Wars toy from. And the, uh, the guy working the counter was super cool, really friendly, and uh, found me on Instagram later and said, like, oh, your, your family's so cool, and you're so awesome and i was like oh thanks for reaching out you're amazing <laughs> um and so yeah just shout out to red skull red skull comics in calgary uh that is the end of that card Ooh, next up we have kayo clubhouse which we can find on instagram facebook twitter and patreon let's check out kayo clubhouse All 
All right, and follow them. Um, so she did this incredible booth of Sailor Moon uh, pins and art. And so, yeah, you can see that right there. You know what? Should I? No, nah, I'm not going to fiddle with that live. But um, <laughs> a couple of uh, spicy, interesting ones as well, as you can see right there. <laughs> But um, all of these like super cool uh, cards that she did, she also had as a full tarot set, which I picked up for Jen. And then, let's see, our two youngest picked up a pair of pins. So you can see these really beautiful, like super high quality enamel pins. I love this paintbrush one. Look at how cool that is. So, uh, Kayo Clubhouse, very nice person, very cool to chat to, and really beautiful art. And her entire booth was just like a thing. It was so bright, it was great. And right beside the door, I hope she got a ton of traffic. Um, oh, and then the next one was literally right beside her. So uh, let's see. We are going to his website. So Kevin Weir Books. Okay, Kevin Weir, author, podcaster, silly person. So this was an author who had set up um, right by the entrance, also in Artist Alley, and he had a selection of books out from hard sci-fi to urban fantasy to a gaslight fantasy to an epic fantasy and i was really torn between the gaslight fantasy and the um and the urban fantasy i did end up going with the urban fantasy so this is his book uh endless hunger the uh merrick thanks for stopping by have fun signed it for me um so Let's read the back of this. The new world is full of wireless technologies, medieval marvels, and advanced security. It's 2133, and Earth has rebuilt after a global catastrophe. Megacities, wireless tech, and augmented humans are all commonplace. What isn't common is craft, with a K. Craft sees monsters. This tends to get him in trouble, especially when the rest of the world doesn't believe they exist. For craft, even an easy job like cleaning a corporation's computer system involves a dark cult, a battle with fairies, and a computer virus that reaches into the real world. All right, so um, check out kevinweirbooks.com. And so we got, yeah, other film projects, about me, contact. Yeah, so here we go. Here's All God's Fall, which is the epic fantasy, Endless Hunger, which we picked up. And sweet. Give them. Yeah, we'll go here. Also give him a follow on X. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's still just Twitter. Unless Elon Musk starts to charge people for it, and then I'm out. I'm out. I'm not paying for that. You can find all my stuff on TikTok now. All right, what do we have next? Ooh, Jeremy Estelle, captain of the USS Cerberus. Uh, so this is Starfleet's um, regional... Delio, and they got a QR code on here, but not the website. So let's let's take a quick look at the QR code. See if we can translate this to the website up here, or we'll just have to Google it. Hmm. I am unclear what this little website is so we're just going to google it uss cerberus ncc 63771 yeah okay so we got fandom expanded universe oh we got their facebook group okay let's pull this up and see what we get 
Cool, cool, cool. All right, so a little bit about this. This is an organization here in Alberta that is part of um, like the global Starfleet organization where you can actually join out, join up and uh, earn a rank. Oh, uh, Laurie says, oh, I'm skipping. I'm missing chats. Yeah, I'm also almost exclusively on Blue Sky and Mastodon now these, these days as X replacements. Only check there occasional. Yeah, me too. I didn't. I never tried Mastodon, but I'm on Blue Sky, Threads, Hive, all at Skyhammer Press. Um, I just like TikTok more. And you know this guy. You know Jeremy Estelle. Very cool. Um, he chatted with us and told us, you know, about the mission that he has for his ship he said they have about 70 crew members on the edmonton ship and um they do like board game nights and craft nights and uh it's five dollars a month to just sort of join the organization and at their booth we found you know this very cute strange little creature i'm just gonna leave it over here by the snacks and see what happens I'm kidding. Never feed the dribbles. Um, what do we got next? We have witch hazel dice. I'm gonna I'm gonna say right off the bat, I don't exactly remember this uh, this booth. There were so many booths. Let's see what we can find. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I remember going by this one. Yes. Okay, so I never actually met the um, the creator. I met uh, their friend who was uh, who was covering the booth. But there were some really, really oh, this one. Yeah, that those blue and gold ones right there. Red Kitten Cost says, "I love Witch Hazel Dice. They had squishy D twenties. Oh, did they have did they have the silicone ones?" Um, I didn't catch the silicon ones, but these ones, uh, the geode ones were incredible. And um, they make them by having the blank set and then painting the details on them and then casting again, which is something that Jen really wants to do for our dice. Um, but yeah, they were super cool. I caught them kind of on the way out, but didn't get to actually meet the creator. Um, really gorgeous, beautiful clarity dice. Really, really nice. Uh, premium, you know, in quality and cost. I think, yeah, the sets were about 130, 120 I see right there, Canadian, but, you know, really worth it for something. Oh, yeah, there's the squishy dice. There you go. Really worth it. Beautiful stuff. Check them out. Let me give them a follow as well. Um, what do we got here? Abram Hartrick, Archangel Art. So there's the card. Looks like we got some cool Ninja Turtles on the back. Um, do 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 Instagram.com Art of Abraham Hartrick. Let's go. Art of Abraham Hart Rick Hartrick. Nope. Type that wrong. Let's try again. With this out. Art of Abram, not Abraham, Abram Hartrick. There we go. And followed by Ink Fable. Yeah, because oh, yes. Oh, these turtles were so good. Those watercolor ones in the back. Yeah, that was some good stuff. Yes, and they had the Gwen, they had the Miles, uh, did not have, unfortunately, a Spider-Punk, uh, but did have a, uh, I guess it's not pictured here, but did have a pretty cool 2099. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. Super nice guy. Um, I ended up going with you know, those really cool turtles instead of those cool turtles. Uh, so many turtles to choose from. All right. Next up, we have Bookworm. 
Uh, so Bookworm is an online shop that I had never heard of before. Um, but they had some really cool dice and uh, they had tea and they had custom tables and they had adventure crates or quest boxes. Quest boxes, I think it was. Bookwormgames.com. Um, and um, I did the like the sad con thing where I was like, oh, I really, really want these, but I can't swing it. I spent enough money. And then I got all the way home and went, oh, man, I really did want it. So I went online to um, to see if I could like order the quest chests and then found out that they're in um, <laughs> late pledges from the Kickstarter. And I'm like, no, well, the con's still open for another two hours. And Ange went over and, and picked one up for me. And so what these quest chests are, are these um, system agnostic stories that have a whole bunch of props in them, like wax sealed letters and um, uh, metal coins that are props or puzzles and whatnot. And they had a bunch of different ones available. And so I did end up buying one of those. Uh, yeah, and then tea. Some beautiful dice. They got dice subscriptions. A menagerie of familiars. Yeah, so check them out. Bookworm.com, which uh, B O O K W Y R M. I like them. They were very nice at the booth. Ooh, who's this here? Who's this now? Hmm. Hmm. We got Red Kitten Productions. So we're liking the Instagram. Let's try that out. We're trying the Instagram style, especially since I got dark mode on. And it's just nicer. Oh, wasn't following you back. OK, here we go. So Red Kitten Cause. Um, I was specifically on Friday looking around for uh, some pan uh, pins and and other things that I could put on my spider punk costume for Sunday and I came across this booth and they were just such kind friendly nice people that I just wanted to keep swinging by and um, found out that they do an actual play which is Natty 20 so followed them on Twitch and um, you'll see on our TikTok uh, and Instagram and everything uh, some pictures where I'm posing with um, a Miles Morales and uh, they're one of the players on, um, on Natty 20 and totally hanging out right now. So hey people, hey everybody, hope you're having a great time, um, hope you're relaxing after an exhausting con i hope your booth went super super well and you got like a bunch of new followers and friends and sold lots of pins and stickers and art and everything oh lou is squealing so bad they're saying hi hello you were so much fun all of you had an incredible energy that just like you know made edmonton expo 2023 very memorable for me because you're just cool people and so um we're following each other keep in touch and uh yeah everybody else um watching this right now or watching this on youtube afterwards uh follow them at red kitten cause that's c-o-s or uh natty 20 underscore pod n-a-t-t-y two zero underscore p-o-d yeah oh gear cool pins yeah so this one right here was on my spider punk and then i did let's see they're not Ooh, i like that ashton that's cool sweet yeah oh there's some people <laughs> all right um Next up, we have the Northern, Alber Northern Alberta 
Lego Users Group. And so they got just a plain website. Let's go to that. Um, they had a really cool like area set up where they were showing out, showing a whole bunch of like amazing full table Lego creations. And um, they had a, a, a Lego free play area that we didn't actually end up playing at with the kids because at first it was too early in the con and then the next time we were over there it was time to get lunch and then we were completely fading and we're like we don't want to hit the con floor again we need to we need to go home we're tagging these kids around and it was tiring but um yeah so northern alberta lego users group um yeah you join up apparently um they have I asked if they had like build nights and stuff and they said oh you know maybe and so i didn't quite get a sense of what they do let's let's just read this uh, as a group of like-minded adults from the edmonton area we build amazing models and put on displays involving thousands upon thousands of plastic bricks in the process we built a community of creatives collectors and hobbyists enamored with the potential of lego in all its forms so you know it's a community i get the sense that they don't get together super often but they get together for these big cons and put their stuff together so, if you like Lego in Alberta and you don't know about them, you can check them out. Ooh. Ganky. This one was cool, and I should have picked up some of their stuff, but I did not. Um, <laughs> hilariously, I should have because everything was pay what you want. Um, and I just, you know, I chatted and then I, like, got pulled away. Um, so, one of the cool things that this guy had was um this like comic book style map of haunted areas of alberta which was very interesting i was like oh i want to i want to get this and read this and, and get inspiration to write like haunted alberta stories um uh let's see there's no zine templates youtube here we go instagram it's not on the card but they do have a qr code Oh, there you go. They got the QR code for Instagram right there. So let's see if we can see some of this comic book style hanging in Canada. Well, there's this guy about um, Alberta labor union rights. They'd had a book about that guy. This is kind of the style of like the haunt as well. That was weird. I was not expecting that. I was definitely expecting a static picture. But, uh,. There we go, like this. Very cool. Interesting Canadiana. All right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more cards to go through. Blackwood dice. Uh, so let's go to Blackwood dice on Instagram. There we are. Oh, sorry, gotta go back and follow Ganky Comics. Then go for it. Why am I not following Blank with Dice? Oh, because I'm on my personal account. Because I'm not on my Skyhammer Press Instagram is what's happening. But that's fine. Okay, so uh, Blackwood Dice, incredibly gorgeous dice, super friendly, amazing person. Um, 3D printer, ran into her a whole bunch of times throughout the con. And uh, she's based in Calgary and just makes some super cool stuff. Like, look at those. Uh, and she said that her husband streams D&D &D art on Twitch. And so, yeah, if you like the look of these very good dice, follow her on Instagram and apparently TikTok, because I just saw it from one of those videos. Yeah, here, let me go back to that one. That's that's my vibe. I love those blue and gold. That's so nice. Coffee says, that sounds so cool to the haunted thing, right? Right? The haunted meta medicine hat thing? But anyways, uh, shout out to Ella Blackwood of Blackwood Dice. Who have we got next? Mark Durkach. Wouldn't it be nice? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So wouldn't it be nice if these are the custom wood burnings? 
So again, we got a website. Let's get this going. I believe this one caught my eye because of their... So they got a shop. Let's just go into the shop and take a look. Mm -hmm. I believe this person specifically caught my eye because they had a really cool um, Prancing Pony and Red Dragon Inn pair of like hanging wooden things. Um, but maybe this was, the, yeah, I think that was this person. Because there was another wood burning um, place like over kind of by the Lego table that had more of the like big giant maps and and stuff and then this was a little bit more homey uh, everybody was doing of course dice boxes and rolling trays and everything but if you need your wood burning whatnots you could check out mark Durkatch, who's definitely got an edmonton phone number so local cool Ooh, we are on to a deadly kitten design so this is another person who was, let me see, Etsy, Insta, and Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. Okay, so let's go back to Instagram. So this is, no, I'm on Skyhammer Press. Ah, oh, what's, what's even going on with my life? So we're looking for Melerasa. This is somebody who, what is happening? There we go. Um, will you quit it already? Uh, completely lost my train of thought. What am I doing with, what am I saying right now? Deadly Kitten Design. So they were at um, the end of our uh, like sort of section of booths. So it was Deadly Kitten Design and then uh, uh, Zach's booth and then Angie's booth and I did not get enough of a chance to chat with them um, as I would have liked uh, yeah red kitten cause ooh deadly kitten I love their stuff yeah cool dice lovely jewelry um, and I they were like oh you know our actual play and I and we were uh, the three of us were Eddie's on Saturday um, they're like, yeah, our our actual play. And I'm like, great. And then I never followed up and didn't get enough, didn't get any details about their game. But they did something super cool and amazing. If you um, went to their booth, scanned their QR code, and subscribed to their YouTube channel in front of them, they gave you a whole free copy of vault of magic by kobold press so i just got this book which is fantastic um 950 uh enchanted items of every imaginable use um some of them designed by luke gygax patrick rothfuss gail simone and deborah Ann wall and so like this is something i probably would have bought at some point you know if i was playing more 5e um <laughs> not playing a lot of 5e these days but uh, I'm happy to have this on my shelf, and that's incredible. So I subscribe to their YouTube. And I will go and find that, unless they have an about. Deadly Kitten Design, Metis, Two Spirited. Oh, oh, there is an about discount. I'm not great at, you know. Yeah. Um, Instagram on the computer. Because who uses Instagram on their computer? But maybe I can quickly go to my subscriptions on YouTube. No, it's not that. Let's see if I find them. Hmm. Of course. Oh, what if I did this way? No, it doesn't show like the order of. Oh, they got to be Legends of Logomancy. We're a Canadian group of content creators that streams TTRPG content. The home of Roll for Beer, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons podcast, Make a Wish International's TTRPG stream, weekly actual play games. 
Blades in the Dark. Ooh, nice. Logomancy. I, I gotta say that they were partnered with Legends of Logomancy. That seems likely. So anyways, I have to check out their channel and uh, and see their stuff as well. Um, ooh, we're back to an Ange Wedman stop. So who do we have on here? We already talked about Tea Hippie, which um, delicious ooh, local Albertan. Um, if you're in Edmonton, I will also recommend uh, Vintage Fork, which is our like personal favorite just for in Edmonton, and they do free like delivery to your house often same day. So just an extra plug for a local tea maker. Um, Mars and Venus. I didn't pick up anything from Mars and Venus, but I, for one summer, used to work there. So it's always really nice to like catch it. Well, I didn't work at Mars and Venus. I worked at White Knight, which is above Mars and Venus, um, but both owned by the same guy, Mike. Really nice guy, super sharp. Um, been on White Ave for pff, who knows how long. <laughs> I've never asked. Um, but... Uh, just really cool to shout out Mars and Venus. If you need your um, super cool like rockabilly or punk or whatever outfits, you can get them at Mars and Venus. If you want like just weird nerd stuff, you head up the stairs and go to White Knight. Um, ooh, Whizbiz Games. Back to the bag. All right, so uh, Wizbiz Games was uh, the booth between Deadly Kitten Design and uh, Ange's booth, which, again, I will whoa, trying very hard to move carefully without bumping my mic. Um, oh, you know, say Ange again, you know. Uh, say follow at. A N J underscore I L L O because they're my good friend and you should check out their cool art. Um, but beside us was Zach Schuster, who is an artist and game designer who has been working on a whole bunch of different projects and stuff. But one of their projects was recently kickstarted. Whiz Biz Games, and so this is a whoa. Hmm. I'll just Google it then. Okay, so the website to get it is wiz, w i z, biz, b i z, games, dot, bigcartel, dot com, if you need to get here. And so, uh, Zach and. Uh, one other person who I never met, they weren't at the uh, expo, designed this game, which is a two to three player sort of card dueling game. And the way he explained it is you're drawing from sort of like the similar magic pile of cards and you're trying to get oomph. You need enough oomph to win the game. And at the beginning of the game, you kind of like start off with just a little bit at a time and you're casting spells at each other that do weird things and then at the end of the game it's like this frantic ramp up of like oh my god i have to do this and this and this or else they're going to win okay i did it and then on their turn they're like oh my god i have to do this this and this or they're gonna win and so there's kind of two phases to the game where it's slow kind of work your way in and then bam explosion so and this is the box for it. I have not yet opened it. We got uh, a promo pack with two exclusive cards. We got a sticker pack. Wizlords in space. Cosmic card catastrophe. And we got a play mat. So... Mm, do I have a sharp implement? I do. I have modeling knives for trimming dice. Let's open this up. Take a quick look at this. Ooh, uh. OK, 
Okay, so we got a lovely do not eat packet. Ooh, smells like new board game. Love it. Got an oomph die. We've got our deck of cards. Uh, got a couple of extra bags tossed in, which is always nice. Rule book. And we got two punch boards of tokens. We got some shields. We got some green splats, and we got some pink splats. Oh, no, some pink stars. Explosions, probably? So, we'll be trying it out. It does say that this is 14 plus, 15 to 45 minutes. And he said, you know, just like any board game that you're learning, your first couple games are 45 minutes. Most games are 20. So, looking forward to checking that out. Um, I feel like there was something I was going to do. Uh, okay. I'm going to give you a little bit of time to prep. So I've got two cards left, one artist, and then a second copy of uh, Natty 20 Pod and Red Kitten Productions. So friends at Red Kitten Productions, pitch your actual play. Tell us what it is about in the chat. I'll read it out. And then everybody watching this uh, on Twitch, on YouTube afterwards, um, you know, check out Red Kitten Cause and Natty 20 Pod. Let us know a little bit about you and why they should listen. Like, what's your story? Um, you're obviously interesting and wonderful people. I bet that translates to your D&D game. And uh, like, what are you playing? Are you playing 5e? Are you playing Pathfinder? I don't even know. We didn't have time to have those conversations yet. Um, maybe I'm talking into the void. Are they still here? Yeah, they're still here. Oh, wow, we got a whole bunch of people. Hey, shout out to RPG Alliance. Always fun seeing you. Uh, were you at the Edmonton Expo, um, Vicky? I, I, I should have checked. We should have met up if you were. Um, I missed, I missed cons so much. Uh, who have we got? Alien Gathering, feels good man, long usernames. Cool, cool, cool. A whole bunch of people. Hello, and how's it going? Okay, next we have Ahoy Soren. I don't know this. Oh, I think I know which one this was. Uh, so we're going to go back to Instagram. We're just going to type in Ahoy Soren because I think this is one of the places I got pins from. Yes, maybe? That looks like a different booth. That's not at Edmonton. Okay. Ahoy Soren. Hmm. I'm sorry, Ahoy Soren. I mean, that's not the Edmonton Expo booth, so I'm not recognizing it. But you got a trunks thing here. So I'm wondering if... Yeah. Here we are. Okay, I found them. So right here, we've got some Dragon Ball Z stickers that I got from Ahoy Soren. Oh, and here we go. RPG Alliance. No, unfortunately, I had two Pulp Cthulhu games in Calgary, but really liking the stream and hearing about all your cosplay outfits are great. Thank you so much. Um, if anybody doesn't know, RPG Alliance is an incredible group of uh, role players and board gamers down in Calgary who are just intense in the scene, like bringing people together all the time. Um, a couple years ago, I got to meet Vicky at the Calgary Expo, and she ran us a game of um, John Carter of Mars, which was ridiculous and amazing and so much fun. And um, yeah, just a, a really positive uh, group of people and person in the space. And so. Vicky, you're awesome. We love you. Um, yeah. So I got a four pack of uh, <laughs> Wow, good memory. Thanks, Merrick. <laughs> uh, I got a pack of uh, Dragon Ball Z character pins from Ahoy Soren. Bump my mic. Sorry, folks. I mean, it's really because I wanted the Trunks one, but I figured, you know, if I'm adding to the satchel, I might as well just get all four characters right. 
Uh, I they also they had a deal which was like five for something, so I got those four. Plus, I got a, a Sonic and Tails pin. Oh, I think it's right there. There it is. Which I finally watched Sonic 2 with the kids um, Sunday afternoon after we got back from the con. Like, you know, get home, change into comfy clothes, collapse on the couch and watch a movie with the kids. And Sonic 2 was great. I've always been a Knuckles fan, and so you know, it was really good. Um, I only have a couple of minor things left in the bag. Let's see. Knuckle Guy. Caught the Team 4-star DB Zao Boo Saga release. No, man. I have been out of Dragon Ball Z for so many years. <laughs> so many years. I have no idea what's going on. Like, I watched it 20 years ago, and um, I'm lost. You know, I was into Dragon Ball Z, mostly the Frieza Saga, um, because it introduces future trunks and then uh, whatever movies I could find um, online at that point. Sorry, the abridged. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I never even actually watched a, a DBZ abridged. But we're back to Red Kitten Cause, which is hilariously enough the final card. Do you have something prepped? You throwing it in the chat? You gonna tell us about your actual play? Please do. I'm gonna vamp for a little bit while the stream catches up to my recording and go with the final things. As many people have seen, um, on TikTok, I, I did um, a bunch of videos of the various cosplays. I was um, uh, Lando Calrissian with Jens Han Solo on Friday. On Saturday, I was Eddie Munson, and um, I had a bard pin that I pulled from um, Red Kitten, and, uh, and a couple of other things. But I really loved sort of the customization that I was putting into my spider punk cosplay because I got the vest last week and I wanted to put on patches and pins and interesting things and not make them you know screen or comic accurate I just wanted fun things I'm still vamping red kitten cause you gonna tell us about your your actual play about natty 20 type type the things um, and so some of the things that I was uh, really looking forward to get were just additional patches. Um, I got a Love is Love uh, rainbow heart to throw on like the side panel. I got a, a David Bowie one right there, which I really, really loved. And then so the new additions are going to be a Punk's Not Dead. Oh, Lou is typing a summary. Fantastic. I got a TARDIS, because of course we need a TARDIS. And then I got Lost Boys, because I love that movie, love it so much. The last thing I have in the bag, what else? That's it, that's, that's the con swag. The last thing I have in the bag is a super teeny tiny, super cool kitty cat Luffy, because I am suddenly obsessed with One Piece. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. There's something about the show. And again, I've only seen the live action stuff. I haven't seen the, any of the anime, but I was told uh, by Zach and Ange at the booth that this particular thing about Luffy's character is very much what the show is about but he's just so sweet and friendly and he wants to support everybody and i was like i i just want to watch more stories <laughs> about luffy being luffy and so um oh there's a there's a website on the bottom of this i'll pull them up um so this was a booth that had um a really cool sort of holographic uh, Pokemon card that was like, you know, quite large. And it was um, Eevee 
and then if you look at it a different way, it becomes Vaporeon, and then it looks a different way, it becomes Flareon, and uh, Violet, our oldest, had to have it. And so it was the last one. She was very excited. She picked it up. She spent all her money on that. And, like, one of the first things she got, um, but she was so excited. And then the people at the booth were really, really friendly, and they offered to give free stickers to all the other kids. Uh, One of my kids, two of the kids didn't want stickers. So uh, I ended up getting the Luffy one. And then Oswin, um, one of our middle ones, she walked away with, like, four, five, six stickers. She made out like a bandit. So this website is Sarlex Studio. S-A-R-L-E-X-S-T-U-D-I-O dot com. And I'm going to put all of these um, socials and links and so on in the description of the YouTube video that comes out later on youtube.com slash at Press. And I vamped long enough that we can go and read this. So, our Twitch D&D stream, Natty20, it's a group of dorks and their awesome stress DM, we we cause the stress lovingly, uh, fumbling through Havoc's world. Dearbla? Dearbla. Dearbla. Which has been built from the, lo- uh, from the Lord up by them uh, for the last almost four years. From the lore up, there you go. From the lore up. It's a story about challenging destiny, morality, and whether free will is a choice. Durvla. Durvla. All right. Well, thank you for the pitch. And everybody, if you are looking for another actual play in your life, uh, you can go to redkittenproductions.com or you can go to their Twitch, Red Kitten Cause. That's C O S. Um, because they are genuinely incredible people. I was very happy to chat with them for the short little time that I got at the con this year. But yeah, um, that was Edmonton Expo 2023. In a nutshell, uh, one of the things I love walking around and just chatting with people is picking up the cards and then coming back home at the end of the night and like going through them, following them on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just kind of reflecting on w- what the year was like and I just have all these stacks of cards like sitting in my bedside table so this was fun I figured it would be a nice little stream to chat and hang out and I'm so happy that people came out and chatted uh, so Red Kitten Cause all the people Havoc, Lou people whose names I did not get to know thank you for coming and uh Hope to see more of you. Um, Knuckle Guy, good friend Laurie, thanks for coming out. RPG Alliance, always good to see you. Vicky, Coffee, Jen, I hope you're relaxing. And uh, everybody else, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I should say things at the end. Um, Things, 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 things. Uh, Glad to catch you live. Have a good one. And so glad Edmonton Expo was super fun. Thanks, Mary. Yeah. Okay, things at the end. coming up events we are going to do a one shot of sentience 2d20 which is a modifius world builders um award-winning award-winning well uh al won the um the modifius contest to uh get out like the first really big cool product under 2d20 world builders i don't know if they've won awards yet but they should uh al made a really cool game um, about robots who gain sentience and have to deal with feelings. So we're going to do a one-shot on Friday, October 20th. Um, if all goes to plan, we are also doing a Halloween double feature on Friday, October 27th and 28th, uh, Saturday 28th. On Friday, we'll be doing um, Mysteries of the Manor, a Halloween-themed Octung Cthulhu thing that is a free product, which means you... In the next couple of days, weeks, whatever, we'll be able to get a copy of it and run it your own way. If you want to get last year's thing, The Malevolent Grove, I wrote that one. Um, and it's super fun. I really enjoyed writing it. Uh, I just got my copy of Mysteries of the Manor this morning, and I'm going to start going through it, and I'm really excited to prep that. Um, and then, if it goes 
correctly. Saturday, October 28th, we will be doing Old Gods of Appalachia by Monty Cook Games, which is, you know, scary eldritch horror in the Appalachian Mountains, which I always grew up pronouncing Appalachia. I don't, I don't know. But it's based on a podcast. And if you have not listened to the Old Gods of Appalachia podcast, you should. Unless you don't like horror. Don't, don't listen to it if you don't want to be scared, because there's some scary stuff. It's very, very good. Um, and then uh, two other one-shots that we are, we are planning to do but have not yet scheduled. Cyberpunk Slice uh, by Green Ronin Publishing and Avatar Legends by Magpie Games. That's basically it. Um, make sure to go into the description on YouTube if you're watching this afterwards and follow all of these super cool creators. Um, oh, here we go. We got some questions before we sign off. Heck yes, more cyberpunk. Oh, you know it. And of course it's going to be informed by Netrunner. Um, any plans on Broken Earth? No specific plans because I haven't heard anything recently, but as it is a Green Ronin publishing product, I'm going to, I'm going to, see about getting the inside track because you know i want to run some broken earth uh rpg alliance cyberpunk slice will be cool malcolm is great as is green ronin yes everybody in green ronin been so fantastic and uh yeah i'm hoping actually to get troy from green ronin to uh, come and play with us because he's always been supporting our streams and podcasts and um hellbreakers for so long um it'd be great to give him a chance to play a game rather than just work all the time but I have been rambling. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you're all having a lovely Monday evening. And, um, yeah. Play games. Have fun. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.